What's up guys and welcome to this video. My name is Nick. I go by Flip Nick here on YouTube and I make videos about going to the thrift store or garage sales and picking up stuff for real cheap and then selling it on eBay for its market value. If that sounds like something that interests you, be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button if you like seeing that kind of content. Now with this video, there's a lot to unpack here. I'm going to be showing you what recently sold over the past couple of days as well as hitting the thrift to see what we can find to resell and then uh, a special little treat here, something a little bit different. Uh, someone reached out to me recently to sell me a collection of stuff that they have and so we're gonna go purchase that stuff so check it out hope you enjoy this video so, uh, we've got a lot of sales to pack today i think on poshmark we've got 12 ebay we've got i think 14 and on mercari we've got two so with that being said let's jump in and start pulling packing these items all right this first one here is a pair of vans I paid 550 and i sold them for 25 dollars plus shipping so here those are right here. We're gonna stack all of the uh, Poshmark on this side and then we'll stack Mercari and then eBay on the other side there. Next, we've got this pair of Hush Puppies. Sold them for $35 plus shipping. Here these are right here. I think I may have had these for sale for close to a year. Next, we've got these pair of Stan Smiths. I thought these would sell really fast, but I've had them for a while and they just didn't have a lot of interest. Sold them for $18 plus shipping. Next, we've got this pair of boys Under Armour Steph Curry basketball shoes. I paid $3 at the Goodwill outlet for these and sold them for 21 plus shipping. Next, we've got this Nike Sphere Dry long sleeve t-shirt. I paid $4 and sold it for 15 with a $1.50 discount. I made 10 bucks total. Uh, paid four bucks, so we're coming out with 650 in profit. Next, we've got this pair of Solomon Solace Memory Snowboarding Boots. Uh, I think I paid 15 bucks for these. Sold them for 37 plus shipping. Barely, barely, didn't even double our money on these, but I'm happy to have them out of here. Recently bought these Tommy Bahama straight leg jeans. Sold them for $28 plus a shipping discount. That was an offer that I sent out and they accepted. So we're making $20.90. Paid, I think, $7 for these. Almost tripling the money. All right, we've got this pair of A6 Gel Cumulus 16s. I just recently listed these, sold them for $30 plus shipping. No offers, they just bought them for 30 bucks. All right, here they are on this shelf. They're actually right here on top because I just listed these. That is number 99, awesome. Next, we've got this Lacoste shirt. Once again, just listed this last night. I had it on eBay for about a week and then uh, I cross-listed it last night and it sold almost right away. Uh, this sold on an offer. I think I had it listed for $24, and they bought it for $18 plus shipping. This pair of Rockport Walkability Wingtip Dress Shoes, I paid $5.50 for them and sold them for $15 plus shipping. Not going to pick these up anymore. Took forever to sell, uh, making $12. Barely doubled our money. Here they are right here. I initially bought these because I thought they looked really nice, and I wanted to test the brand. Turns out the brand is not great to sell on eBay, so we'll be passing on these from now on. Here's a shirt that I picked up a little while ago for four or five bucks, a Kennington LTD California Hawaiian shirt. Uh, I paid four or five dollars for it. They bought it for $21. I think they sent me an offer on this. I think I had it for 27. They sent a $21 offer plus shipping. So we triple our money on this. I'm really becoming a lot more confident when it comes to shirts and selling, uh, selling shirts. They're easy to, to find, they're inexpensive, they're easy to list, and when they do sell, they bring in a decent profit margin. I'm really becoming quite confident in shirt. All right, this last item is something that my wife picked up from a garage sale. It's a pair of Cat and Jack uh, outdoor snow boots for kids. I think she paid a couple bucks for them, maybe a dollar. Sold them for 18 plus shipping, and they are brand new with tags. All right, so we, uh, I thought that was the last sale. We just had this bundle come through. And I made an offer on this bundle. This person bought six items in this bundle, a pair of pants, four shirt, uh, three shirts, a hoodie, and a pair of shorts. This is like $138 uh, worth of inventory. However, I have 20% off set up if you put three or more items within the bundle. That put the bundle at $108. I offered 100 plus free shipping. I'm going to put it all in one box. So I'm walking away from this with 70 two dollars in my pocket all right so i got all of the poshmark items packaged up ready to go and now it's time to work on mercari items we have this pair of sam edelman uh, ballet flats 
Sold them for $20 plus $5.99 shipping. And now on to the second item. Just recently picked these up from a thrift store. Uh, maybe listed, I don't know, a week ago at the most. Uh, Puma Suede LFS Ice Juniors. I've sold them for $39 plus $12 shipping. I just used the uh, standard Mercari shipping that they offer there. All right, in the interest of time, because I have a lot of items to ship and I've got a lot of things to do and time is escaping, I'm just going to go really quick through the sold comp so you can see what I sold. Uh, we sold these Lucky Brand knee-high leather boots. My wife picked these up for 6 bucks at the thrift. Sold them for $33.15 plus shipping. Next, sold this vintage Field & Stream Sherpa fur sweater. Uh, sold it for $20 bucks plus $6 shipping. Picked this up at the thrift for 4 bucks. Got these Dickies Pants Women's, sold them for $20 plus $10 shipping. These are consignment items, so paying $7 to the person who handed them over to me. I picked these Carhartt jeans up for $7 and sold them for $19.99 plus $10 shipping. I say $10 shipping, it's actually $9.97 shipping, but I'm just saying $10. So next, I picked up these Jordans for $14 at Once Upon a Child, sold them for $33 plus $10 shipping. This pair of Levi's 514s in green. Any green Levi's sell really well. Don't know why. I paid seven bucks and sold them for $34 plus $10 shipping and they were only listed about a week. Got these Vans Unicorgi dog rainbow uh, shoes. Paid $3 at the Goodwill Outlets, sold for $30 plus $10 shipping. Got this. Uh, guitar Hero neck from an auction that I went to. I bought a few different guitars and this was, uh, they just threw this one in for free because it didn't have the body to it. Sold it for $16.28, free shipping. A pair of Kuji cargo shorts. I uh, paid $4 for these and sold them for $20.37 plus $6 shipping. A pair of blue and white Converse Chuck Taylors. I think I got these from the outlets, the Goodwill outlet. Maybe a regular Goodwill. Uh, we'll just say paid $5 for them, sold for $25 plus $10 shipping. Converse do really well. Uh, sold this Passion Translation Leather Bound Bible for $49.99 plus $6 shipping and got this for a couple bucks. My wife picked up this vintage Raffaella Angora Rabbit Hair Lamb's Wool Sweater from the Goodwill Outlet. A couple bucks, it's less than a pound, uh, so probably $1.40 for this and sold it for $33.99 plus $6 shipping. Sold this pair of Lucky Brand jeans. These are the 181 relaxed. I paid seven bucks for them, $7.50, and sold them for $17.50 plus $10 shipping. All of my jeans go in a flat rate padded envelope uh, for $8.75 shipping. Vintage Woolrich with the patch sleeves. I paid $4 for this and sold it for $27 plus $6 shipping. Uh, I had it listed for $39. And then I ran 15% off and someone sent me an offer for 27. I'm all about getting that product out the door. Happy to have made that sale. If you remember a couple videos ago, I sold one of these Sullen Art Collective shirts. Uh, well, I just sold the other one. These are brand new. I got them for four or $5 a piece. Um, this is the second one to have sold in about two weeks time. Paid four or $5 and sold for 2037 plus $6 shipping. And that is what we have total for eBay. All right, guys, here we are at the thrift store. The last time I was at this thrift was when I got those Burberry boots that I sold for a hundred and what was it, 130? I paid 35 bucks for them. So let's see what we can find today. Double H Boot Company. Let's check these out. Twenty-five dollars. Fifty bucks. Not worth it. Let's go for sixty bucks used. 
so much as a cost. Twenty bucks, Jesus, please, no way. to 60 on those. Not bad. How much do they want for them? $5. Yeesh. We get 20%, 25% off everything here today. Spirit. Yes, glue for Converse. Heck yeah. All right, guys, so I'm meeting up with someone right now. A gentleman reached out to me through Facebook Messenger a couple days ago saying that he had some shoes that he wanted to either consign or sell to me as a lot. I think he got them from a storage unit that he purchased. And so uh, I'm here to talk to him about these shoes, look at them and see if we can work out a deal. So let's check it out. For reason. Really? And, that, and that's why I said I prob you probably wouldn't want some of it. Okay. Um, so North Face jacket. Okay. And there's the inner shell for it. Gotcha. You want to check that out? I just made a YouTube video a few days yeah, ago. On, on video games. Yes. It's awesome. And so it's, I know yeah. the people down here at watch the video. Oh. I know they do because they follow me around the store. And then they price everything up when you leave. <laughs> there was, um, I just That's took awesome. a, what, I just took a video of it today. It was in the case, it was PS2 Mint. Yeah. Um, Silent Hill 4. Silent Hill, so yeah. It, some they of have this, it priced for 120 bucks. Yeah, so some of the, <laughs> so get this, the uh, that one over there, part of the score. Yeah. Uh, so you know like the vintage Pokemons are crazy. Yeah, It was a vintage <laughs> uh, Pokemon, complete mint condition and all, and it was going for over 200 by itself, but then it had all the Silent Hills, one through four. Oh Everything God. was mint, it was a collector. And so, they were like, well, if you just get rid of all of it, it'd be great. 50 bucks, I took all of it. And I flipped it in one day for over $1,500, oh one day. Was... Hey guys, it's day number two on this video. There was so much to unpack yesterday for everything that it was that uh, we had to carry over into a second day. I picked up this shoe buyout uh, late in the evening yesterday, and so now we're getting to go through it today, which is pretty exciting. I have two Ikea bags here. I'm going to fill these as I go through the shoes. And then I have three more Ikea bags, which unfortunately are underneath all of the shoes in my van. While I do know what a lot of the shoes are here in, uh, in this lot, I don't know all of them. And so if I say something wrong, just forgive me for that. And then I'll show comps along with each pair of shoes uh, that I will find on eBay after I'm done filming this segment. So with that being said, let's jump into this somewhat overwhelming lot of shoes and clothing. So I paid $250 for everything that I'm about to show you. I checked the comps on three or four pairs of shoes and that brought my revenue up to $850. So I'm fairly certain we made a good deal here. The majority of these shoes are not in excellent condition. So uh, we will be selling a lot of these sort of like in the mid range. They're not junk, but they're also not excellent condition. Let's start off first with this pair. This is a pair of uh, Gucci sneakers right here. Uh, not sure if they're real. They're extremely dingy, beat up. I will probably sell these Gucci for uh, around 20 bucks, if that, uh, just because they're so dirty. I might try to clean them up, clean the midsoles up, but these are just gonna go for real cheap just so I can get a few dollars off of them. We've got a pair of, I think these are the Jordan 3 Mochas, if I'm not mistaken. Nice pair. Here we go with this pair of Jordans. I'm not sure which one this is. I think it's the five, if I'm not mistaken. 
Uh, the other one's in there, we'll find it in a second. Got these Nike Blaze with the snakeskin accents. We've got these rather beat up. The leather is pretty scuffed here, so we will probably sell this one at a severe discount. Got this pair of steel-toed Brahma work boots. Really good condition. This is not like a high dollar pair, but we got it, so we'll make a few bucks on it. Got a pair of New Balance 574s. This is a good $25 to $35 pair. Really good condition, a little bit dirty, but overall great condition. Basic pair of Vans black and white skate highs. This pair of Pumas, a little bit worn, but overall not bad condition. Another pair of Vans skate highs in a larger size. This pair of glittery Uggs, kids Uggs, uh, gold glitter Uggs, really great condition. These will sell in no time. A pair of pristine Air Force One highs, triple black. Gonna get these listed today. Let's see if we can get them in the sun there. With a lot of these shoes being really dirty, it might take a few days or a week or so to get them cleaned and listed. But with the super clean shoes like those, like those Air Force One, we are definitely going to get them uh, listed right away. This pair, um, it's got the threads hanging off. Uh, that's intentional, that's how they were designed. But the shoe is kind of, uh, I don't know, it's not holding its shape very well. It's kind of smashed down. But I think we can get these cleaned up. You got a pair of Vans Old Schools in the light blue. That's an easy $35 right there. Got this pair of Air Force One Lows. These are not wheats. Uh, this is actually like a pinkish color, suede. So another pair of New Balance 574s. Excellent condition. These will get listed right away. Men's size 10, so uh, fairly certain these will sell quickly. Here's the other New Balance. 574 that goes in that bag. This right here is definitely a great piece to pick up. Uh, this is a Jordan 12, white with the blue on the side. Uh, it's a textured leather. Freaking pumped about these. Can't believe this was part of it. Another pair of Air Force One triple black lows. Excellent condition, we'll get these listed right away today. Next are these, I think these are the Reebok Kamikaze, if I'm not mistaken. Got these Patrick Ewing with the uh, stitched signature. It says Ewing on the back, it's got 33 on it. Very, very dirty, super dirty. Gonna take some time to clean these up. Here's that other Jordan shoe. Uh, this is the second shoe to the pair that's already in the bag. Here's another pair of Jordans, not sure which one this is. However, it does not have the laces on the shoe right now. However, I looked inside and the laces are actually in there with the little clasp that they come with. Here's the other shoe to that pair that I already put in the bag. Last pair of Jordans that are in this lot. These are uh, black with the green on the inside, but I'll throw comps up on the screen here so you can check them out. All right, I was able to uncover the Ikea bags. We filled up two Ikea bags overflowing with the shoes. So now I'm gonna go through the clothing with you. We didn't spend a lot of time looking at the clothing, but there are some jerseys, hopefully worth something, maybe not. There's a North Face jacket, we'll go through that. And then uh, a lot of Aku, or Aku, A-K-O-O. Uh, clothing, so we'll see what those are worth. The first thing we have here is this jacket. It is called Rainforest. Uh, I don't think this is worth much, if anything, but we're going into winter, so you never know what we might get for it. Here we've got this brown 84 jersey. So to be perfectly frank with you, I don't follow sports. I don't know of the sports, all the sports teams. It is official NFL Nike licensed jersey. I can't tell you much more than that. We got a Juice World jersey style shirt here. It's 9.99. Aha. Now this might be worth something. Uh, True Religion heavy white stitching denim jacket. That is what I like to see. This is awesome. This is the trucker jacket. Hey guys, I wanna thank you for watching this video. Thanks for joining in and going through all this stuff with me. It was a long video, but you stuck through to the end. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.